What's up? Welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing the best tips and tricks for World of Tanks. And this is going to go from 2024 onward because none of this will ever change at all. Okay? Uh, this is my main account that I'm on right now. I don't have the best stats. This is where I do a lot of experimenting. And on my two other accounts, my KD is a 6 plus and the other one's a 11 plus. All right? So I, I have lots of in-game time in this game. What I would like to say first, anybody from PlayStation and Xbox planning on moving to a PC and a PC player coming to an Xbox or PlayStation, the games are completely different. What works on PC will not work on Xbox or PlayStation. And what works on Xbox and PlayStation will not work on a PC. These games, like I just said, they are completely different games. Okay? So, let's just go to Cold War real quick. Uh, for newer people who are coming into World of Tanks, play co-op. You don't want to be a watermelon on your team. Okay? I'm going to show gameplay to all of the things I'm saying. Okay? So, please play co-op. You mean like it's bots. Yeah, it's bots. But you want to know something that's going to, you're going to develop your situational, situational awareness for the whole map. Okay? Yeah, you can play multiplayer. But you want to know something? You're not going to have the same amount of knowledge that I have just from playing multiplayer. I go into co-op, and it's co-op. I can do whatever I want in that game. Why? Because it's co-op. I can go on there and get the spots that you would never do in a multiplayer match because you don't have time to do that. You don't have time. But if you go into co-op, you can experiment. Then when you go into your multiplayer match, you can say, you know what? I'm going over this way. Okay, play co-op. I play at least 20 games of co-op every week. And I probably watch around four or five replays of like, huh, what happened there? Just to like, oh, dude, that was, that's intelligent. I should have thought of that. Okay, so you're always going to learn something. We're going to talk about tanks. Ten years ago, this game was played a little bit differently. To how it's being played today a lot of people are just going yolo they they get in their little epic battles right and then we don't got no light tanks at the end game and the enemy team may have none either but if the enemy team does have a light tank you're probably gonna lose that game but if you got coconuts on the enemy team and they got one light tank left you might win that game because the other ones are just a bunch of watermelons and you know it's gonna be easy but if they're experienced and they've using their nap, their knowledge there, yeah, you're gonna get smashed. And you're not gonna stop it because that light tank is gonna spot. Like, if I'm gonna use a light tank, I'm lasting until end game and then I'll die. Because I'm gonna go find the last three, four tanks. I'm gonna keep them spotted so my whole team can go flank and get to where they need to be to start picking these guys off then i'll die but we we just won that game it happens a lot when i play the tank uh not on this account anyways um but on my other accounts yeah i do a lot of experimentation on this account i've got most of the videos i'm going to show you from using this account Another thing I would like to say is this. Multiplayer is completely different from co-op, you know? People in co-op just, they go, they just go rush the enemy and just go smash them, the game's over with, you know? So you only get a little bit of time to experiment with what you're gonna experiment with on that one map. In a multiplayer match, you don't really have time to do that. Because if you try it in a multiplayer match and you die trying to do what you're trying to do, you're just not going to do it again. Like, oh, it's not worth it. You just won't think of doing it. But in a co-op setting, you can drive around the map, put on a light tank, and just zoom to it. And just like, okay. And watch the angles. I've been all over these maps. 
I can get some crazy angles on tanks because I had time to experiment with those areas. I have learned when to hold back. I have learned when to push forward. All from co-op and then watching the multiplayer. Another thing I want to tell you is this. Watch your teammates. Watch what they do. Because 99% of the time they do the same stupid thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And you want to know what happens when you're on the opposite team? You're just going to pre-fire right into that tree line. Because you know they're there. I do it all the time. Because that's what they do. They go to the same thing. They don't ever switch it up. they identical every single time. I, When I'm in my tank destroyers, I don't go looking for kills. A lot of guys in tank destroyers, they shoot the tank that has 300 health. I'm like, what? Dude, you've got 10 other tanks on the map that can do that. They're like, yeah, I got 8 kills. Well, that's cool. You only did 3,000 damage, though. Sometimes you lose a game because of that. Right? I've, I've played games where I've done 9,000 damage and still lose the game. Because the other teammates are a bunch of coconuts. Just not landing shots or who knows what they're doing. But I'm going to show you some clips on this stuff. Alright? Uh, the only time I'm going to pick a shot is if, is if I'm just playing that one side. That one left flank. But then yeah. But if I got a big area to maneuver. Man, I am going to start shredding the health off of full health tanks. Because that's my job. Because my other tanks on the map... They're going to kill them and get them out the game. That's how I play the tank destroyer. I don't use my tank destroyers as a light tank and go try to spot half the map and then die. And I don't use my light tank to ever spot half the map and then die. I use my light tank to spot where I need to spot. And then I stay alive for end game. So then that way, my teammates know where all the tanks are so they can kill them. Alright, so play your tanks accordingly. Yes, in today's age, everybody goes YOLO and get to their little epic light tank battles. I could care less for all that. I let them do it. Chase me. I'm going to lead you right to my team. Watch you get obliterated. So, just play accordingly. All right? Tip number one. Do not use bright colored tanks. And if you're a female, that's cool. You don't got to use a bright pink tank. Uh, my tank right here says... Fight me, I'm Irish right there. There's a, there's one of those little emblems that says, Kiss me, I'm a girl. Okay? And if you identify as a weed whacker, you don't got to use the bright colored flag to do it. Right? Because those flags go against your camo. There's no camo factor on that. So if you've got good camo factor, but you got your little flag floating around, I know I can shoot there, because you're there. Get rid of your flag. Okay? Get rid of the flag, and don't use bright colored tanks. I'm going to show gameplays of this. Also, understand how your bloom works. Sometimes you got a bloom. you got to wait for it to come in. And if you shoot, sometimes it's going to go to the left or to the right. Or you might be up close and just do a snapshot. Not going to do no damage. Certain tanks just have no snapshot. And, and I'm going to show you videos on all of this stuff in a little bit. All right? So, tip number one. Take off your flag. Don't use bright colored tanks. Bright pink on a snow white map. You're an easy target. Okay. Two. The most important, in my opinion, is getting your angle down that you're going to use to shoot the enemies. And use your teammates accordingly. If you know all your teammates went to one side of the map and you're like, I'm just going to go left because I know they're coming from that way. Yeah, you're the only one that has brains in that game. And you're going to get flanked. Uh, stick with your teammates. Because when you meet the whole enemy team. You're going to get one shot off. Maybe two or three. And then you're just dead. You're useless. 
you might as well stick with your team during that game and get the angle for the flank wherever you need to be just try to do some damage okay just don't sit out there and like yeah i'm gonna get shot but i'm gonna do you know 500 damage that's not worth it you need to survive longer to place those shots okay the object is to try to win i play a lot of random games but i don't like being squatted up because when you're squatted up the other team knows the three of you are probably rolling together i like it when i'm playing against full squats because they're kind of garbage most of the time in today's game before now you you're going to have some problems. But now it's kind of easy. So when I see a squad of three, I'm like, yeah, they're rolling together. And do some good damage this game because one's going to get shot. The other one's going to come running. Bow! Yeah, it's there's just no common sense. Okay? It's just a speed rush game. Get it in, get it done, and I take advantage of that. The third thing I would like to say is don't mimic other people's play style that is their play style figure out your play style how how you want to use that tank and you play it how you want to use it okay that is how you do that do not sit there and watch somebody tell you what to do like the lee man roos okay everybody knows that tank. i've got him on all three accounts okay I don't have good stats with them on this account. Why? Because I go out there and I troll with it to see what can and can't be done. And then I perfect it on my other two. Uh, the Lee Man Roos. People are like, ah, oh, it's always blocking. Well, dude, stop shooting at it and go look at the armor viewer. All right, so if we go to World War II and we go to tanks here. very easy to kill every tank and you're like oh my god there's so many tanks yes dude you don't gotta know every tank out of 405 tanks you only gotta know five of them the rest of them you know you can shoot them anywhere all right so let's go here so let's go to loadout let's go to the armor viewer all right you can you you can block four thousand damage on this tank easily all right but when you're playing with somebody who's got a little bit of common sense up there which a lot of players in today game doesn't have that they just blatantly shoot into it or snap shot doesn't work man shoot at its weak points right there is a massive one don't shoot directly into it get it on the side look at all the weak points that's where you're shooting these guys just blatantly just shoot ricochets, ricochets, block, block, block for him. So if the one tank is giving you a problem, this is the only tank in the game you need to know. Okay? If this tank isn't a problem for you and it's another tank, say it's the moss or something, go viewer. We're, we're over here, so let's just go to this one. Alright? You're like, yeah, I'm always ricocheting. Okay, view the armor of it. And then it's going to say, when these tanks get spotted, it's going to say Lee Man Roof, the Centaurian 45. It's going to say it. And you'll know where to shoot this tank every single time. You'll never get another ricochet. So, the Lee Man and the Centauro 45. Those are the only two tanks you got to know, because those are the only ones that give you a problem. This is how you solve it, right there. They never give you a problem again, ever. Okay? That's how you fix that problem. Easy. Okay, let's go watch the videos on this. And then we're out of here. So, I thank you for watching. I hope I have helped you. And now let's get to the videos and show you why not to do what I said and to do what you should be doing. Go to co-op learn the maps i still do it i get some crazy angles know when to push know when not to push know when to move forward know when to hang back so you're not spotted so you can still beam learn the bushes do your 
do your blind shots. Okay, let's hop to the first one. All right, we're going to go to profile here. And we're not going to use bright colored tanks. Ready? Right here. This is always a good map. So I normally hang back on here. There's a spawn point right from the left up here. Right you don't do that. You're an easy target. Especially if we're in the forest. I'm going to spot that immediately. Your camel factor means nothing. You have no camel factor and a bright colored tank. And now if you have these people on your team, use them to your advantage. And I'll show you that. So my okay. They were going to this right. You're gonna see me zoom in to some wooded area. That is a spot I go to. That is a spot where I wreck a lot of people. So I always check the spots I go to, just in case if there's that one individual. I know when I first came around that corner, there was nobody there because I should have been beamed already. Nobody was. But I still zoomed in. Uh, but then I realized something. I have a teammate in bright green. I'm going to let him go because he's going to get smashed. And I know it because around this corner, up towards the right-hand side of the mountain, where that white line is on that mini-map, there's always tanks up there. It's a ridiculous spot. I never go there because you've got you've got no cover. You can't do nothing. So once you're spotted, you're stuck up there, and you're useless. I don't ever go to those spots, but I love it when I'm on the opposite side of the map because I know they're there. I'm going to get there, and I'm going to kill them. Uh, this game was really easy once they were all there. Uh... But I used the bright green tank to my advantage because now I'm going to pop a shot off and I'm not going to get melted by one of them. So I'm, I'm still going to be a two-shot tank. So here we go. Pushed up. That's what happens when you're a coconut. And you shake the palm tree and just stand there. Not think you're going to get hit. Alright? Don't use those bright colored tanks. Unnecessary. That's what's going to happen to you. And don't get in crazy spots like that. Because you got nothing up there. You got one rock, the rest of it's wide open. Dumb. I don't care if you've got four destroyers up there. You're not going to do nothing when you're spotted. You can't hide. You got a whole team of small tanks shooting at you. That's going to add up, and then you're dead. You may get two shots off. That's it. Before you're just instantly rocked. Okay? Get to those spots that you need to be in all right now for the next video here we are going to talk about the bloom so with this tank it has an arc and then you have the bloom the bloom is where it's where it's out and it comes in when it comes in your shot's going to be on point when it's moving in and you shoot 
you have a chance to go left or right or not even hit your target at all. So don't chance that on certain tanks. Certain tanks like the FOV, they don't have a good snapshot. It never will because of the bloom. Other tanks like the Char, 25, the 40, those things can snap right on them. Hit their target. They have great snapshot ability. Not an FOV. And now you may be wondering why, like, oh, how come you're not using your other account to do this? Because to, to get the videos that I needed for this tutorial, I'm not going to ruin my stats on those two other accounts at all. Not doing that. I got 11 KD on one, and I got a 6 on the other. For the one tank that I'm using on that, it's a 6. It's the only tank I use. And then the other account, I used two tanks, and I got my KD up to 11. So yeah, I'm not going to ruin that just for a video. That's why I have the main account, so I can experiment, get everything, and prove the points I'm trying to make. And this is a lifetime worth of knowledge brought to you in one video. Now, this is Bloom, okay? Perfect Bloom. This is a lucky shot. The tank I'm moving at pulled up to a rock. I see him, I shoot impatiently, I go off to the right of it, I kill him, another tank completely by luck, no skill involved. But I know to get to this spot, just from getting into a light tank, traveling and watching things in co-op, or getting into a light tank in a multiplayer match and just watching things, just like watching the map itself. Most of this experimentation came from co-op, which gave me the knowledge, yeah. You may have some very good game knowledge about multiplayer. But if you're going to get up against somebody who's got a little bit more time with experimenting with the map, you're going to have a problem because of things like this. So let's hop to it, and this is where you see the bloom. And then I'm going to show you a perfect bloom shot up close where you don't do nothing. I, I, I should have died. I'm going to show you that right after this. So you're going to see a tank come up, my bloom, and I shoot. Pure luck, man. That was just pure luck. No thing involved. I just grew in because I wanted to get to a different spot, but I wanted to see if there was tanks posting up there. Okay, because they're going to be shooting at the other tanks that are spawning on my side of the map. Uh, what I did at the end of this, I just went to that house, reloaded, backed up, and killed the guy that was there. I shot him, he backed up. He pulled back to the same spot instead of relocating a little bit. And I, and I wasn't spotted, so you're not going to find me, but he was probably trying to shoot at all the other blueberries out there. And I was able to pick them off. But that's that's the bloom. Now here's the snapshot with an FV uh, 400. It's not good. The snapshot is not good. So, before... You watch it. I'm going to explain what happened. There's a little hill that goes down, a little path to the hill you'll end up seeing. Uh, I shot at him from across the map. I went up the hill. There was a guy up here that came up on the other side. I was able to reload. I took a hit from the person that was up there, and I killed him. When I came back down, he was there. Uh, I'm in a reload still from the guy up here. So I pop my smoke, and I'm driving up to him because I know this guy is pushing me. And I'm pretty sure in my brain I know I'm going to die. But he chose the snapshot. And this is what saved me. The smoke and his snapshot. Because if he would have zoomed in, I would have died. But because I popped the smoke and he just did his snapshot, the RB, and just fired because he was locked on, I survived. Oops. Oh, 
Okay, so, sorry. Let me pause. Sorry. I did not kill the guy that was up there. I did damage my teammate killed the guy that was up there. This was the last kill. And then I kill one more after that. Yeah. Got another monitor over there. That's the bloom, okay? Don't trust the bloom on this tank. I had a perfect ending to a game and I died because of the bloom. It was a 3v1, both tanks were one shot, uh, and I messed up. I killed one tank because I knew one would be coming from the other way because I was spotted. So they knew my general location. And I knew at least one or two would come from one way. And probably somebody from the back. Well, the guy killed me. Sorry. The guy spotted me. I killed him immediately. He spotted me, so I had to keep driving forward. Then I finally spotted him. He shot me. I killed him. Did a U-turn, because then I got spotted. And uh, once I turned around, the other two were up this little hill. One drove off a cliff and died. Now I got one guy and I are left. And uh, he's... 20 feet in front of me and the guy I was gonna kill on my reload when I stopped reloading he drove off the cliff and the other guy's 15 feet in front of me and he's already shot me one time he stopped he's just waiting for his four second reload and uh I did a snapshot just because I was so close just like this it doesn't it's 50 50 it doesn't work and I, all I had to do was zoom in and kill me. Instead, I was a noob, lost the game from a teammate. Stupid. Alright? Don't do that. Now, the next video I want to explain is going to be your flag. This is very important. Okay? The flag. So we're going to stop right here. I catch this guy's flag. Okay? Right in between those rocks, you see his tank. Now, I know in my brain, and this is what I'm thinking at the time, I'm just going to shoot in front of that rock when he comes out. Boom! I'm just going to smash him. Right? But then I spot the flag. And I'm like, oh, wow, if I see the flag, I can shoot this guy. And this is what happens. This is why you do not use a flag. Right there. That's when I spot the flag. Don't see the flag. If I never would have seen that flag, I never would have registered that little crack where I could have seen his tank. I would have assumed he was behind the big rock, and I would have waited for him to come out, and I would have smashed him. Okay? Don't use the flag. Ever. Don't. Okay? Uh, and... The next video I'm going to show you is going to be a full gameplay, 2 minutes and 40 seconds of what's going to happen to you. Eventually, you're going to get a team like this, and this is what's going to happen when you get to play against a team like this. It's going to go extremely quick. It's incredibly fun because you're already in your next game. Uh, and always stay moving. And then we're done with the video, and I will provide a link in the description below if you want to join. I... Hope I have helped you. Please leave that sub because it will help me. And as I said bef before, if you're going to be a weed eater, that's fine. Don't got to use the flags. If you're American, I don't got to use the flag. If I'm a girl, I don't got to put on a bright pink tank. All right? Play accordingly because it's going to help your teammates out. I played a game just earlier today. I almost recorded it, but I didn't want to record it because I like this gamer tag. This dude's had a pretty cool gamer tag. So I was like, ah. I like you. Uh, he had a bright purple tank, man. We're in the middle of the city. What are you going to do with that?
at least try to blend into something. That way they might have a chance to slip. If it's bright purple, man, they've already got a bead on you. Don't do that. Okay. I'm going to show you a screenshot after this game, too. One more before we end the video. No. Right up here, I want to explain something with the phone. Okay? I call it SD 4005 and not barn. A Boeing 747. When I am driving where I know there's going to be tanks, I do not want to move my turret because I'm going to create that stupid bloom. So if there is a tank that's coming straight on at me, I don't. I can just fire as fast as I want. Booms! I have no bloom. So I can zoom in and shoot. But if I have to turn to them, I have that bloom and it's got to come in. So, if you know they're coming from a direction, keep your crosshair centered. It's going to improve your game immensely, especially in a barn. Of that FV 4005 coming at me. Same thing as mine. I popped it. Because I know it lasts for 15 seconds. And it gives me time to do a complete flank. And I really don't flank. I just readjust. Because I know there's a barn over there. And I'm going to get an angle on them. And I know there's going to be more tanks coming around there. And I know there's light tanks that are going to be spotting me. So I have to use that. They're spotting me to my advantage. So you'll see my movement throughout the rest of this and the only reason why i'm moving around is to get different angles on my next shot they know i'm in this general area so i want them remembering the last location because if he's communicating or in a party who knows know I have enough teammates in the general area that I'll be okay if I get pushed. So before I take this shot, I want to say something. There is now pink destroyers. The one that I seen where it first popped out over there, and now the new one. But just before this, if I rewind it, you're going to see on the mini-map, there's two of them over there. I want to explain something. Right there, you can see both those trying. So I know there's two people there. Oh, fuck. From the very first time I popped that smoke, I know on the opposite side of that hill up here, they're on the back side. I know they can't hit me. I'm not even worried about getting shot by either one of them two. I know exactly where they are because I've spent enough time on this map in co-op that I know. So I'm able to do things that other people would kind of be worried about wanting to push up. I know I can push up. I know I can take another shot off. So here we go. And this is why I do it. Now you can see them rotating up. 
But my whole team also seen it too. So. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to get a wider angle on that view. And this is all from playing in co-op. That's like all I've got for skill. Okay? That's just knowing what I can do on that map. That's it. That's all that is. That's just map awareness. That's knowing what I can and cannot do. I, I wouldn't say that's skill. There's a little bit of skill in placing shots, but knowing where I can put my tank and the angles and knowing where I can and can't go, that's a little bit of skill. That's, that's some knowledge there. That's what I'm trying to that's how I'm trying to help you today. Get that in-game knowledge. Experiment in co-op. A lot of people don't do those AI. Who cares, man? I don't even shoot at the AI unless I have to. I've been in a game one time where all my teammates died, and there was like five AI tanks. I was like, what? And I'm in a light tank, because I do most of my stuff in a light tank, getting to spots, trying it out. Like, oh, I can't get up there. I need a more powerful tank. A bigger motor, so then I have to go. Get, I'm like, oh, dude, I'm not gonna win this. I try to, but you got bots, dude. They don't really shoot at you too good, but when you got five of them, what are you gonna do? In a light tank, one of them are gonna hit you. A couple of them are gonna hit you. So explore in co-op. Get that knowledge right there that you just watched. That's not me saying, oh, am I gonna take? No, I know I'm not gonna get shot. That's why I'm pushing up. I know I'm not. I stop. I'll show two more. I'll show one more video after this. Let me show you a screenshot. This is what's going to happen when you get the same teammates in that game we just played on your team. They're all going to die. I had one kill. I shot three times that game. That game was over with in two minutes and 40 seconds, just about. That's exactly what happened. Can't, you know, I still, I don't care what's going to happen in that game. Because I know, I'm. when I start seeing people die like that, I'm going to go take a cheap kill. That's what I did. That's how I got the one kill. I wasn't going to die without a kill. So, but that's what happens. A bunch of blueberries. Look at that. You know, you've got. Two people, you, you, you got two people partied up on the same team. One of them is in a group of three. One, two, three. One did zero damage. What were you doing, dude? Feeding the opposite team kills? What? You know? It was, I don't know what they're doing. But they're easy pickings for them. I still had a good game. Okay, one last one. All right. This is when knowing when to push, when not to push. There is, this is kind of end game right here. And I'm in a pretty good setup where my position was on this desert map here. I was, I was in a decent spot, so... So there's a, a medium tank behind that rock. Ah, uh, the tank destroyer doesn't even... He knows I'm here. He doesn't know where. I was spotted 
way back on the other side by the medium tank. He knows where I'm at. The tank destroyer has no clue. But there's a guy next to me who just keeps getting spotted nonstop. So I push up to the rock and I just, I'm very well aware of what's going on, who's around me and who and who can't shoot me. I know the other tanks out there, they can't touch me. There's only two tanks that can touch me right now. And that's the two right behind this rock. That tank destroyer, that tank. And this is how I play it off. That medium tank that's behind me, uh, I was tracking him, and he was tracking me. I knew that once I shot at this tank, he's going to come shoot me in the back. So, I know when I pop my smoke, that guy's not going to be able to shoot me. He's too focused on the other guy. I'm still going to kill this guy. I'm, I'm going to kill the barn. Like, I'm just going to kill that barn. I hope I can kill that barn. I should have shot him... Up in his big uh, turret. I didn't. Shot him in his back. Hoping that I could have stopped him for a split second. And my teammate over there could have just beamed him. Got him off the game. And I still would have drove this way and popped my smoke. And killed the guy that's behind me. Okay. It was, was going to happen regardless. I just didn't know that I was going to end up ramming this guy. I thought my teammate over there would have absolutely fried him. But didn't work out like that. Why would you push? I know the tank behind me, it's all got a three, four second reload speed. I'm not worried. I'm I know my teammate doesn't kill that barn. I'm I'm gonna go ram the other barn. I'm gonna ram him. Poof. I don't mind if I get shot a couple times because once I get my reload done, he's gonna be one shot for me regardless. I wasn't worried about dying that game. Okay? That that's just situational awareness. That's all that is. And you can learn that all from co-op and in multiplayer. But I'm telling you, co-op is where this is at. Learning the map, getting the angles, and knowing if a new person was in this game right now, they would have been thinking that those three other tanks on the other side are like, oh my god, they can shoot at me. And... and and, and they'll have fear of pushing until they see their teammates pushing. Then they'll be like, uh, some of them just may still sit there. Some of them will just follow the other tank and stop when they stop. Okay? When you know the maps, you're not in fear of anything because you know. Especially when everybody's spotted. Pay attention to that. That little map right there. When you know that map. And when they're spotted, you know where you can get shot at and not get shot at. I know exactly what's going on. Use it to your advantage. Learn these maps. Period. And it's going to improve your game by a thousand percent. All right? One last thing. Making silver. Yeah, there are some pretty good tanks. Like the MBT-70. You make an insane amount of silver off that tank. Uh, you can make silver on any tank as long as you're going to have a good game. If you have a bad game, you make no silver. So just have fun in your favorite tank and make your silver.
That's how you make silver. Okay? I don't ever use boosters. I try to save all my boosters in case there's a new line. Uh, like the... Uh, here, I'll show you super quick. Um, So I use my boosters for the Cold War era. You know, I wanted that Abrams. So I just use my boosters throughout that whole line just to get to the end. Um, and then I save every booster I've ever gotten. A long time ago, you were rewarded boosters. Now they just give you the booster at the end of the game. So you're not saving up your collection, but you'll be able to get them out the crates, so forth, etc. I don't ever use boosters you don't know what they're ever going to add into the game or take away or make something new or bring in new tanks a whole new line save it just save it okay i save i save and that's just this account i've got plenty of more on the other ones and i've worked up all three to where they're at today so please common sense don't be a buster all right everybody out there thank you for watching be safe gg and have a blessed day